Okay, so now in this video we will be adding the animations to our rifle. For that if you click on the rifle you will notice that we already have a controller attached to it by G36. As you can see so if you click on it it will show up this controller double click on it and it will open it up like this okay. Okay, so let me delete the idle animation, go inside the source of this G36 and expand that. You will find all of the animation in here. So first of all, we need the draw animation. So I will just simply add that right here. Then we need the idle animation. So we will drag and drop that. After the idle, we need the shoot. Okay. So you will notice that there are two types of fire, actually three types of fire animation as you can see. So what we want is I think all of these three are same. So what we're going to do, we will just simply add the first one. Okay. And then after this, we need the reload as well. So we will drag and drop the reload right here now let's name them so we will first of all name the first one as draw then this one as idle name this one as fire or you can name this as shoot and this one will be reload okay now Right here, let's create a parameters. So the first one will be of type pool by the name of shoot. And the next one will be a trigger, which will be by the name of reload. Okay, now let's make a transition from draw to idle, then from idle to shoot, and then make from shoot back to the idle. Okay, now let's select the first one. And you can leave the first transition as it is okay so when the game starts or if we change to our first rifle it will first of all play this draw animation okay then let's select the second one from here remove the as exact time click on plus and set shoot to true then select the next one remove that and this time make the shoot false okay now after this what we're gonna do we will make a transition from any state to reload and click on the transition make sure it the as exact time is false and right here just simply call reload okay and then make a transition from reload to idle okay click on it and right here leave this as exact time as it is okay that is all we can do for our animator for the first rifle. Okay, so now the animator is set up. Now let's play these animations one by one. So at the top, we will create a reference to our animator. So we can name this as animator as well, or actually let's name this as gun animator. But since it is not a gun, it is a rifle. So actually, let's leave this as animator, okay? Then we can scroll down right here. So now, when we are shooting, okay, inside this shoot method, we now want to play the shoot animation. So above this current ammo, we will say animator dot set pool we want to set the shoot parameter of our animator to true okay so what this is gonna do this is gonna trigger the shooting animation now when the player is not shooting then we want to make the shoot to false okay so we will do that right here okay so on using the fire button we shoot now when we are not pressing the fire button then what we want to do we want to set this to false okay and as you know that we have two shooting mechanics so we're gonna do it for the second one as well like this 
after this we want to trigger the reload animation as well so right here as you can see we leave a comment for reload animation so now we will say animator dot set trigger okay and let's trigger the reload animation okay and also we need to reset the reload animation right here so we will paste that and this time change this to reset trigger okay that is it save the script get back to unity now if we click on our rifle we need to provide the animator so just simply drag and drop this animator in there okay and once you do that now you will notice that it will play the draw animation first of all okay as you can see first of all play the draw animation now if you shoot as you can see it can shoot as well okay and it can reload as well okay if we reload as you can see it reloads perfectly fine as well and if you want to see the animator as you can see the idle is now no more playing so what we can do now we can stop the game now and double click on the idle okay and it will show this right here so change this to loop time click apply that is it now if we play it again and click on animator now as you can see it is playing the idle animation okay and if you shoot it can also shoot as well and it can also reload now what we want to do we want to set the reload time and the reload animation correctly okay so whenever the reload animation is playing then we want to wait for the reload animation to finish okay so according to the reload animation we will set our reload time so what we're gonna do we will move our animator right here down below okay and let me focus right here so now if we shoot okay and let me now reload and also we can count that how many second it takes to reload okay so one two three four i think four will be a good value for this and you can also check the time of the animation if you double click on it and play it okay you can notice it right here as you can see it mostly take four seconds to reload as you can see it stops on 400 okay so what we're gonna do for the first rifle we will set the reload time to 4 okay that is it now you will notice if we play the game and change this to debug so that we can see the is reloading okay now if we shoot now if we try to reload as you can see now for four seconds it will keep reloading and when the reloading animation is done as you can see it is reloading set to false okay so in this way you can set your own reload time for your own rifle and if you're using the same as mine then you can just set this to four as well now with our animations added in the next video we will add the muzzle flash and our shooting sounds okay and the reloading sound as well